My name's Chris, I'm the database manager uh, at Bloodwise and I'm just going to quickly whiz through and show you the um, Outlook integration which uh, we did with Beta Consulting. Um, I think Parvez presented on it a little bit yesterday um, but I'll just elaborate on it a bit. We uh, wanted to go with Outlook integration because um, we were rolling Civi CRM out to a new team uh, within the organisation and I think it's a team that hadn't really, well, they didn't really know very much about Civi, so it was very much sort of like a, a sell to get them to use it. Um, so what we did is uh, we decided to um, integrate Outlook um, because it was something that we could then roll out to the rest of the organization um, as a big sell. But then we also developed some uh, customized screens for them to really easily enter um, information into Civi. So actually I should tell you about the team, so um, it's a patient support team. Uh, so Bloodwise is primarily a research organisation and we raise our funds through sports fundraising, legacies, individual giving, etc. But in the last year or so we are moving uh, more so into patient support. Um, so providing a call centre functionality um, and um, developing our website in order to uh, help patients through their blood cancer journey experience. So I will come on to the support screens uh, and we'll get Deepak up to show you as well. Um, so essentially, actually, I'm just going to send a very quick email to Deepak just to give you a quick demo of how it works. Um, and essentially, it's just a very, very quick way of um, getting your email straight into Civi. Um, so if I just send it, the um, Outlook integration app asks me if I want to record it um, in CVCRM or not. And I'm going to say yes. And then it should um, query Civi and come up with all of Deepak's records um, <laughs> and decide which one I want to put it under. So I'm going to put it under this one and I'm going to confirm it. And then um, it's just going to ask me, well, what do I want to store it as? Um, do I want to store it as an email or do I want to store it as one of the many, many other activity types that we have at Bloodwise at the moment? Do I want to customize um, or amend any of the text, etc.? cetera? Um, in this case, I'm just going to say no and confirm it. Um, and then, yeah, essentially, it's just gone straight into um, the record. Um, and it will be viewable on the Activities tab. Um, one of the other settings that we've got is a prompt for case. Um, so this is another function. So if I um, say I want a prompt, and then I send another email, again to Deepak, uh, it will then ask me if I want to add it to a case. So yes, I'm going to add the email to Civi. I'm going to confirm it. And then do I want to create um, a case off the back of that? So um, it's actually, so it queries Civi um, to check if there's any um, open cases uh, within that record. And if it did find one, it would then come up with a list um, and say, do you want to assign it to a an existing case or do I want to create a new one? So uh, in this case, I'm going to create a new one and it's urgent that I speak to Deepak about CV and submit that. Case is being created. Well, let's just look at that. Okay, and then I'm going to, um, what it will do is it will store the activity within the case as well. And then if I just look at it here, should, if I refresh, yeah, it will then appear there. So this is essentially um, to, well, it's a massive time saving to be honest, um, for us and for this new team. Um, and now, should we show the screens that we've developed? 
So this is essentially a customized UI um, that we have developed for this team. Um, because I think one of the things that they heard about Civi from sort of other teams in the organization is sometimes it looks a little bit overcomplicated. And for this team who, I was going to say they don't use computers, they do use computers, but um, they've never used a database of this, of this sort before. So um, a big win for them was to um, customize their, so their sort of entry screens. And we wanted to um, sort of deliver some call center functionality with it as well. So we grabbed a, was it a Google plugin that we developed? I say we developed, um, Google Chrome plugin type thing, um, which triggers off our phone system, uh, Asterix, which is an open source system. Uh, so when the uh, user receives a phone call, um, it will, the number will sort of flash up on their desktop um, and if they select the number, it will take them uh, straight into this screen, um, whilst at the same time querying Civi for um, that number. And if it finds that phone number, um, it will then come up with the results list. Um, so uh, we are just doing a two-digit um, search here. And then the user can um, select the record that, they, that that phone number sits under, um, but at the same time uh, verify with the caller that that is the actual um, person calling. So if you just select one of the records. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you, um, if the user had double clicked on the record, um, it would then come up with uh, some of the personal details. And if you scroll down, you can then. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, is it not behaving? Okay. Well, essentially, um, what we've allowed the user to do is edit the basic contact details um, from that section, but then also view um, any of the cases um, that are open um, or actually exist on that contact record, open those cases, um, add activities, uh, make some basic amendments, and then um, yeah, assign activities to themselves. So it's basically just um, quite a nice little view for them um, to basically actually get them using the system um, and making Civi function in a call center-ish environment. And if we can't get it to show, then that might be the end. <laughs> Yeah, is that happening? It's a resolution now, sorry. Yeah. Uh, it's a screen issue, apparently. So can you double click on one of those records or? There we go. Yeah. So there. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah. So the if you um, show the CVCRM profile, if you just click on that button. Yeah. So here's the screen that the user will sort of work from, um, 
And so if you scroll down, there'll be an edit function um, on the bottom left um, so that they can edit those contact details. Um, again, we haven't quite um, sort of worked out exactly what fields we want to have in there um, and which ones we don't. Um, should we just show the fundraising activity tab? Um, I quite like this tab um, because we're going to pull in some uh, key fundraising information. Um, so that's more for sort of our support care and fundraising team um, when they use this. So it will be able to see, you know, straight away, is someone a major donor? How much have they raised? What events have they done? Uh, that kind of thing without having to sort of tab through the civi contact record. Um, and then the, the cases um, obviously are on the top right. And if you, am I right in thinking if you select one of the cases, it will then limit the... Yeah, so if you select on one of the cases, it limits the activity view um, to only be activities um, about that case because uh, obviously some of our records have got hundreds and hundreds of activities on them now. Um, so yeah, this is very much like the first, uh, the first stab that we've, that we've had at sort of customizing this UI. Um, we're literally in the, well, in the testing process and we're going to roll out the um, MVP in probably two or three weeks or so and then go through um, a month or so of feedback. Um, so yeah. That's What are we calling this? Support line. Support line. Support line, yeah. support line screens or yeah, support line UI. That's separate from the email integration, the Outlook. That's separate from the Outlook integration, or is it one? No, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. yeah. But it's just so so we're tying the two together um, using the by using the case yes or no, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, but it's, it's Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it just depends on um, what kind of phone system you use as to whether it will actually sort of do that trigger pop-up type thing. Uh, you can tell I'm techie, can't you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, because that's, that's one thing that we've um, managed to make it do. Um, and uh, like, hopefully some people in the organization will find that quite like WYSI. Um, the IT guy said it's not, you know, it wasn't a big deal, but I think to, to sort of end users, that's quite a big thing, you know, that's like a massive step forward, um, rather than having to like actually type in a phone number and search for the contact record, so, um, yeah. Uh, it's not exchange. It's a yeah, it's directly passed to Civi with the API keys. REST API and API key setup. Yeah. Uh, the Outlook is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, um, yeah, the phone will be in a couple of weeks. Cool pickup or whatever. Can you guys revamp your project? It's 2010, 2013 compatible, yeah. 10 and greater. What's it called? Outlook plugin, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we develop these products and then we forget that you actually have to give them a name, don't you? Um, it's, it's called CVCRM Outlook plugin. Is, there gonna be, is it on GitHub? Will it be on GitHub? It's out of the extension directory and it's got the actual Outlook plugin on that side. Yeah. The XC. Yeah. So there's a plugin for just for the Outlook and there is an extension for the CV which is also listed on CVCRM extension directory. There you go. Brilliant. Thank you.